You're there. Hi. Okay. All right, fine. I got the message. I have had this request on my Instagram, on YouTube. So many thousands of you have been requesting it. So I just thought, let me do it. A lot of you have been asking me how to identify which hair type you have and all of that. And so I received thousands of messages on Instagram, on YouTube, and I just said to myself, let's do it. Okay, pause. That was a fat lie. Nobody was interested. Only one person has. And since on this channel, I am all about serving the people here, I have to do it. That is why today I'm here with the video. As soon as I received the message, I decided to do it instantly. Of course, that was another lie. It took for you to reply. You're lazy. Today, we're going to discuss hair types. What is your hair type? A lot of people are wondering like, what does that even mean? For us to debunk this problem of hair types, we have to go right down to 1956. Ta-da! I don't know if it's not that serious. This is um, a very short story and I'm just making it big. Hair types is something a lot of people in the hair community are really, really interested about. And I personally, I don't see a reason why people are so interested in it. But since you asked, what is hair types? Let's talk about it today, okay? And while we talk about it, I will be taking down this banjo knot. It's been like decades, and I want to take it down today. It's Sunday, and I'm feeling like catching a fan. <laughs> if you've not seen a video in which I did this kind of thing before, I will link it in the card somewhere. Whatever, this intro has been so long. Let's get into it. Hair type was first of all discovered by this guy. His mother gave birth to him in 1956. His name is Andrew Walker. And as soon as he popped out of his mother's belly, he started thinking about hair. So, as he grew older, he became a celebrity hairstylist, okay? He's been amazing. People have been applauding him here, right? And one of his biggest, uh, one of his achievements is being Oprah Winfrey's hairstylist, um, the, developing the mini pixie, uh, the mini pixie uh, hairstyle that Halle Berry is known for. That's one of the things he was really known for. And uh, one of his biggest achievements is that he created the, the hair typing system. In the hair typing system, Andrew Walker believes that hair types are divided into four categories. He had type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4. And according to Andrew Walker's chart, type 1 is basically the very straight hair. Like straight, nothing else. Straight. The type 2 are those who have wavy hair. Uh, wavy hair, their waves, they, they are just like the beach hair type, you know the beach hair, right? Which is just laid back, it's just wavy and all of that. And type, and uh, the type 3 hair, this type 3 hair are more coily hair. Coily hair in that. The type 3A hair is a little wavy towards, it, it looks like the type 2C hair because it is a little wavy, more wavy, but the waves are deeper than the waves of type 2C hair. Then when you go to type 3B hair, the waves are a little bit, uh, you see some coils, like the coils are like in a little round, the coils are really round, big, like a bull marker coils. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the type type three C hair, it's really really the the coils are really thick. It's wavy. It the, those with type three C hair tend to have hair that is almost round, 
because it is really really uh, more the, the coils are more defined than type 1 and 2. Type 4 hair is basically people with hair like mine. Yes, I'm type 4. <laughs> I am type 4. Okay, with type 4 hair, type 4 people don't have cores. They don't have cores like type 2 and 3 hair type people. They have cores. C-O-I-L. They don't have curls. C-O-U-L. They have cores. Type 4A hair, it is more wavy. It has, the cores are bigger. The cores. The cores are bigger and uh, a little bit wavy type 4b hair the coils are a little bit tighter yes it has a little bit of definition but not much because you really cannot see a lot of definition with type 4b hair and with type 4c hair type 4c hair has very little to no definition it is you have to come close to type 4c hair to see any kind of definition because it is just made up of small tiny coils who two tend to love each other. They hug each other and they stay together like that. If you are not still sure on your hair type, maybe because of uh, the differences between coils, coils, waves and all of that. Another way for you to determine your hair type, uh, your hair type is looking at how much of its real length it shows. Those with type 1 hair, naturally their hair shows 100 percent their real length those who type two hair their hair will only show about 75 percent their real length because the waves that type two hair has take up about 25 percent of the length then those who type three hair your hair will only show about 50 percent type 3 hair it will show only about 50 percent its real length like yes just about 50 percent its real length so if your hair is about 20 inches and you are type 3 you will see just uh 50 percent of it that means you see just 10 percent length because most of it has been taken up with the coils and curls that type 3 hair has yeah and it would differ depending on if you are in type 3a b or c because those with who are in type 3c they are likely to have hair which is looking which will show less of its real length mm -hmm. just like type 4. now we go to type 4. those of us with type 4 hair we have the stigma called shrinkage our shrinkage is crazy. If you have type 4C hair, it means that your hair shows only 25% of its real length. Can you imagine the rip off? That's crazy. My hair shows only 25% of its real length. And I am not doubting that because every time I pull my hair back, I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh. And that is what happens with everyone who has type 4 hair. Type 4 hair tends to shrink a lot. And its shrinkage is an advantage to it as well as it is a disadvantage to it. Because as an advantage, when you have type 4 hair and it tends to shrink a lot, it means that you can style your hair in different hair types like those of us who would like to have sometimes you just want to have a nappy little round fro like your hair can do that basically it can do that and those who um would like to see those little sexy cores just just coiling around like that you can do that with your hair and now the disadvantage with that with uh, the shrinkage type 4 hair has is that those people who like to show off their natural hair length you cannot do that because your hair tends to disguise its real length that is crazy <laughs> yes your hair tends to disguise its real length so as a result of that you can never really see your real actual length it's crazy it's crazy okay that's what 
I am ending it. And those with, with type 4C hair, you have to extremely be careful with your hair because your hair can break easily, very easily. One thing about hair, hair types and uh, all of this that really doesn't sit right with me is the fact that with knowing just my hair, it's difficult to know, to just look at someone and know their hair type. For example, people will still ask me, what hair type is my hair type? If the hair chart that Andrew Walker designed is that, is that accurate, then it should be easy for anyone to look at my hair, just tell me that you are type 4, type 3, type 2, or any other type of hair. But that is not the case. And also, because the typing system doesn't help you to know how to take care of your hair, moisturize your hair, how to, what type, how much uh, manipulation your hair can handle and how much it cannot handle. And one more thing you should note is that nobody ha has the same type or one type of hair. You can have more. Like, not nobody, but somebody might have one type. But you might have one, more than one type of hair, so you should not get alarmed when you realize that the hair types I am talking about here, you have more than one, you have this one, you have type, maybe you have this one, that one, and you're like, wait, I have this one, that one, and that one, so why, where, where do I fall? No, you are not a mixture. It is number. I personally, I have more than one type. I have four, four B, like the middle of my hair, around the middle here, I have like four B hair. But around the perimeters of my hair, I have like four C hair. Care of your hair is very important. And uh, your hair typing system will not give you how to take care of your hair. So, um, there are other methods in which you should use to know your hair type so that you can know how to take care of your hair. If you know those things, like for example, you have to know your hair porosity, your hair density, mm, your hair texture, in order to know how to take care of your hair. When you know those things, you can easily know what products to use on your hair, how to moisturize your hair, how much manipulation your hair can take, and all of that. If you'd like to see a video on that, please drop a comment in the comment section and I will make sure to bring you a video on hair porosity, hair texture, and hair density. Okay, that was my final look. I don't know how it looks. <laughs> okay, tell me, after watching this video on hair typing, which hair type do you think is yours? Do you think you fall under type 1, 2, 3, or 4? If it's 1, 2, 3, or 4, which of the categories, the subcategories categories do you fall under? 1A, 2A, 3, or 1, or 4A, 4B, 4C. This is going to be the first video on a series of videos I'm going to do it, which is called Hair and History. <laughs> In this episode of Hair and History, I will be doing my hair while we talk about a world phenomenon, something that happened in the past, a person of interest, someone who makes me absolutely tick, someone who is just amazing to talk about, and anything that you guys also want me to talk about. So if there is a topic you would like me to debunk, a phenomenon about hair, life, history, social, economic, or any other thing, let me know. I am a person who loves every topic in this world, from technology to the soil to the sky. So, I am here for it. <laughs> and so, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do want to subscribe. I just realized that more than 70% of the people watching my channel are not subscribed to my channel. Please do well to subscribe. It helps my channel, okay? That's what I'm putting right there. Thank you very much. And also give a comment. I would like to know your thoughts on everything I talk about or suggestions you would like to give me about my hair and even the topic we just discussed. I don't know it all. I am also learning. And so, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the final look I ended up with. Today is Sunday, so let's we see how this day ends. Have a nice day. I am saying I'm out.
Got my baby Always happy I'll never change No way, no way You are the same From the day that I knew that I could love you When I saw your face My life was changed You were the world Diamonds just can't capture you girl No way, no way You are the same From the day that I knew that I could love you I am your slave I won't ever run away There's a girl out a magazine Everybody I know They crying, crying, crying Queen Everywhere she goes out People look and bow down She raised my queen Black purse hat She wears Celine And her hand as rocks They shining, shining, shining Clean Every day she goes out People look and bow down She plays my queen Queen on the throne Smiling, laughing, singing my songs Okay, okay I found a way From the day that I knew that I would love you When a heart gives way can change you rule the world stylish classic my favorite girl okay okay i found a way from the day that i knew that i would love you i am your slave i will never run away there's a girl out a magazine